So in this part of the series, we're going to look at templating uh, within Laravel and the, the actual template that we're going to set up. And this will give us a clue as to uh, the kind of things that we're going to be doing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is inside of my views folder, I'm going to create another folder called template. Now you might have just seen a moment ago, we're actually going to be using the foundation front end framework to generate things like buttons, forms. This is entirely optional. You don't have to use foundation. You may already have your own design already set up and trying to integrate this into your own project. So don't worry if you don't use foundation, we're just going to brush over it. So inside of my CSS file, you can actually see I've included the foundation.min.css file and I've also included a custom style sheet. And this custom style sheet just reset one of the foundation CSS properties and I've also created this wrapper element which is going to give us a margin of 20 pixels around our content. Again, this is entirely optional so feel free to ignore it if you already have your own styles. So inside template, we're just going to create one template here. This is going to be called default.blade.php. And it's basically just going to be a normal document layout. I'm going to change the title here and I'm going to indent this. So inside of the body, we're going to need that wrapper that I created a moment ago. This is just going to wrap the content uh, throughout our entire site. And then in here, we're going to yield in any content that we pass to this. Now we need to link in our style sheet, so let's do that now. So the uh, link to this will be the asset helper and it will be CSS foundation.min.css and then I also want to load in the custom style sheet that I created as well. Now we need to load in jQuery as well here, so let's do this now. And I'm doing this from Google hosted libraries so the URL looks a little bit different to what you might expect. This just means it's a little bit faster and uh, may already be cached for some users. Now what I also want to do down here is I want to yield in any custom scripts that I pass from any of the uh, templates that extend this default template. So that's pretty much our template. Let's just check that it works by creating a test view in here. We'll call this test.blade.php. So let's extend template.default and here let's have a section called content and we'll stop that there and we'll have a similar thing for our script as well. So in here we could just you know generate some kind of empty script and in the content let's just say hello. So over in roots, let's just return view make test. And if this hasn't made sense, you'll see exactly why I've done all this. We've got hello there. If we just view the um, page source here, you can see that we've got the script down here that's been yielded in. And we've also got the content in here, that, which is evident here. That's also been yielded in. We've obviously got our star sheets linked in here too. So that's basically how we create our template. We're going to be using this throughout the entire series. But obviously, if you have your own template, that's absolutely fine.